So the movie is set in 1979. Yeah. Where were you in 1979? I was, wait, in 79. Okay, so I had moved to San Francisco. You'd think I'd thought about this before, <laughs> but I, for a while I thought I was younger in 1979 than I was. <laughs> so I was having the total, I, I did that for days. Okay, and then someone said, no, Annette, you weren't eight, 19, you were 21. Okay, so I was 21. So I was living in San Francisco, which was fascinating. When I moved to San Francisco was the fall. I mean, it's a sad, tragic, tragic time in many ways in San Francisco. That was when Dan White assassinated Harvey Milk and George Moscone. Harvey Milk being the first openly gay mm. supervisor and George Moscone was our mayor. So I was literally in class at San Francisco State when that happened and everything stopped and, and then of course the world changed dramatically. When I first moved to San Francisco, it was pre-AIDS, and it was the city everyone came to, 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 to come out and to be themselves, and it was just a completely tolerant atmosphere in a way that was really fun. And then, of course, AIDS happened, so everything changed. So, um, yeah, that's where I was. I was in the Bay Area for many years. I loved it. It was interesting also to see <coughs> the women talking about feminism then, uh, how do you think it's different sort of then versus now? I know it's a big question, but... It is a big question. I would love to hear you talk about that. How is feminism different? Well, it's, it has changed dramatically. I, I just remember my own first sort of confrontation with feminism when I went to my community college and took my first women's studies class <laughs> and sort of had my first consciousness raising and looking at beauty contests and horror and crying. <laughs> um, uh, so no, I, I think it's, I don't know, it's tricky. Uh, my kids are very informed and they're very uh, much interested in the world and, and read and, and, and I, think, I think it's really tough right now for young women because I feel like just more and more is expected of them rather than things becoming more sane and sort of realistic it's like the the expectations of women just get get harder but i don't i, I don't i have hope i don't want to sound negative but i think it's tough um also you're celebrating your 25th wedding anniversary are you big on celebrations do you do you know i don't know do you do you make a big deal of it or we um, we love celebrating. We used to go to this one restaurant, uh, but now that restaurant doesn't exist. We've been married so long now mm. that the restaurant closed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's a big deal. It's a big deal for us. And this is 25 years, so that's, I think, is that silver? I don't know. I think it's silver. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, no, it's, it, it is a, a big deal. And I know we were talking about trying to do something bigger this year. Usually we just spend time alone and go to a restaurant or something, but... Maybe we'll have more of a party this year. I don't know. Now we're getting so busy now that we kind of don't have time to talk about it. <laughs> like, what are we going to do? But um, no, it's, it's, you know, my God, I'm thrilled. It's incredible. I'm very proud of us. <laughs> Any secret to a happy marriage? Some people say it's having two bathrooms. Yes, I've heard that. Yeah. I, think it, it, I think it's very, very important. But my parents have been married for 66 years, wow. and they have one bathroom. <laughs> Do they have two sinks? I don't even think they have two sinks. You know, and they, they have managed it. So I don't know. I think two bathrooms definitely helps. Yeah, I think being able to go in and close the door is a good thing. I don't know. There's no secret. Everybody struggles. Everybody has their good times and their bad times. Um, I, I think most of us who are married are married to people who are very different than we are. Mm -hmm. that, that That's initially what attracts you. I think I remember her, I hearing once the thing that initially attracts you to the person is the thing that makes you break up. Yeah. Had you heard that? Yeah. Which in my case was true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. So who knows? Uh, yeah. So no, I think the fact that we're very different in some ways is, is probably a good thing. Well, congratulations on the movie. Thanks. I loved it.